Let's begin with the project info tab. There are two new cells to fill out on this tab. The first being the secondary functional unit, and the second is the is this project on an empty site. The secondary functional unit allows users to type any secondary unit which they deem to be suitable for their project. For example, if you're working on a hotel, you could enter in hotel keys, or if this is an office, you could enter in office desks. Most secondary functional units will then appear on the scheme sheets in cell N8. N9 will be then read for the user to enter in the correct number associated with that secondary functional unit. The results then for the carbon, upfront carbon, will be shown in cells RS55 for inclusion in summary reports. The second addition to this project info tab is the cell for is this project on an empty site? It has a drop down option of yes or no. If yes is selected and you are designing a building on an empty site um, and there is no existing building that needs to be demolished, this has an impact on cell E9, which will be the only cell to add our input for the GIA value. If no is selected and there is an existing building on the site, which is either being demolished or being refurbished and having an extension added to it, cells C, D and E9 will be available for data to be added in. This edition of the Is This Project an Empty Site replaces the GIA cell input on previous project info tab as in RICS version 2. Capability to distinguish between demolished, retained and new areas in the building. Project value tab has been retained. However, A5, um, this is no longer required for calculating A5.3. So this is only there user if they wish to enter it in. 